SAT 2021 may be online, and if that is the case, then a lot of things will change. Before I get into that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform that helps you build your data analytical skills with amazing interactive courses at your own pace. And by the way, courses are asynchronous, and let's be honest, we all love asynchronous courses. So I've been using DataCamp for the past week and a half, and I have to be honest, it really is amazing. So in my class in college, I'm actually starting to learn Python, and DataCamp has classes on Python that I'm taking right now. So the fact that I can take Python classes in DataCamp and get ahead in school just helps so much. I mean, I already impressed my professors, and we all like to impress our professors, don't we? But I highly recommend you all to check out DataCamp because you will not be disappointed. It has a wide variety of courses for you, especially if you're a computer science major, whether you want to be a data scientist, software engineer, or anything in between. So be sure to check out DataCamp and use my personalized link in the description below. And then I want you to DM me on Instagram telling me your experience with DataCamp because I know you'll love it too. So be sure to check it out guys. Now, let's get into the video. So the SAT 2021 may be online, and this is a news for, to a lot of people. Now, first thing, let me explain why it may be online, and College Board has even said this, and articles have even already hypothesized that the SAT for this year may be online, and let me tell you why. According to this article right here, College Board is trying to push to put less of a demand on its students. Now, this means obviously taking out the subject test and the essay, which it has already done. But another thing mentioned in the article was the fact that College Board may be thinking about making the SAT online this year because a lot of students just can't take the SAT in person. Reasons being because of family, transportation, the fact that there's a worldwide pandemic going on. And College Board is actually understanding that and they're actually siding with the people this time. But now, if the SAT is online, what exactly does this mean? How is it going to work? Well, guys, if the SAT is online, do not think that it will be an easy multiple choice question test where you have just three hours and no one's watching you. Obviously, webcams will be on. It will be a lockdown browser, so you are expected to, you know, not cheat. I have already seen online comments saying people will hire tutors to take the SAT with them. That's not the case, guys. College Board will demand webcams to be on. I know many colleges such as CCBC, UMD, use this feature to make sure that students aren't cheating. I know CCBC actually goes the extra mile and makes you get the webcam and show your entire room area to make sure you are not receiving any type of unwarranted help. So don't try to be slick. Now, obviously, will the content be different? No, the content will stay the same, guys. SAT is SAT, all right? The math, the reading, you know, you know everything about it. There's nothing new in that realm. So yes, while it's online, you may start to think that, hey, questions may be harder because the college board may think that students will be cheating, so they should amp up the difficulty. That's not the case. It's nothing like that. College board is hoping students don't cheat, and that's why they're going to implement certain measures to make sure of it. So again, don't cheat. Now, what exactly is the probability of this event occurring? Well, College Board has been under fire for the past year. We all know the big mess regarding AP exams that happened this past May. Many students couldn't submit their AP exam. And that led to a lot of students having to take the AP test again. And while the AP test was rescheduled for like, I think a week or two weeks later, the SAT being rescheduled will probably be two weeks to a month later. And many students, they just can't deal with this anxiety. You know, a lot of students like taking the SAT, getting it over with. The anxiety just honestly messes them up. So if you were to sit down for the SAT just to not be able to submit it, and then you would have to go down and take that three hour exam again, I know that would drive students insane. And college board really just can't afford that. So if they do make it online, they will make sure that servers are running just fine. And again, because they're under fire, and they're under even more fire since the fact that like 60% of students couldn't even take the SAT because they were expected to go to an actual test center, that's 60% of people not paying for the SAT. And we know College Board is the richest nonprofit out there, so they want that money. So they're going to make sure that they maximize the amount of profit they can make this year by having the SAT be online. So the probability of the SAT being online this semester, I think, is pretty high so get ready but now if you guys do want a tutor who will not exactly carry you through the exam but will prepare you well enough that you get 1600 on the exam be sure to check out smart minds tutoring and if you are a cs major be sure to check out daddy camp and i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys enjoy it like share comment subscribe for more peace